have another bill to watch now out of South Carolina, as this would be another major degradation of our COVID protections. As drafted, the bill would prevent mandating vaccines unless they have been licensed by the FDA for 10 years. This is playing into the anti-vax hysteria, where they think that the mRNA vaccines weren't tested enough and that we're guinea pigs. But this has many implications. The first is that it would block requiring flu vaccines or other shots that you get yearly updates for, because each year the flu vaccine gets updated to target specific variants of the flu. Second, this would block the development of vaccines for novel and emerging pathogens. So in the context of COVID, this would mean that uh, we couldn't update or even administer any of our vaccines for another 10 years. And if we wanted to update those vaccines, well, we would have to wait 10 years and then who knows how many mutations the virus would have gone by by then. And then it's just a huge, huge game of catch up. Additionally, this bill would loosen restrictions on who can visit people in isolation where the bill would require symptom-free patients to be released from quarantine well before some infectious diseases begin to show outward signs, where this proposal would require health officials to release someone from quarantine if they didn't show symptoms for five days. However, some diseases like measles, meningitis, bird flu, Ebola, tuberculosis, all have a much longer incubation period, where Dr. Simmer says, I don't think we would want after 10 days to release a person known to be infected with Ebola into the public. This bill passed the Senate subcommittee on a 4-3 to three vote, but it still has to go through General Assembly session, and it still has to get through the body's Medical Affairs Committee and a vote on the Senate floor before it can even be sent to the House. So this is one to watch, this is one to protest if you can.